It is easy for anyone who follows New Jersey affairs to see why Bill Bradley is one of the most respected members of the United States Senate. Through his years in Washington, he's come up with new approaches to old problems which capture the imagination and get results. One such idea was unveiled in late January when the senator announced his adopt-a-school plan, which will create a link between New Jersey high school students and private business concerns. No one can doubt that it will benefit the students, and the businessmen who are involved at this early stage say that it will help them too. Under the plan, a local business establishes a relationship with a high school so juniors and seniors can see how their major subjects are used in the real world. The first adoption involves 70 math and science students at the John F. Kennedy High School in Patterson and a division of the Singer Company, which has offices and manufacturing plants in the area. In the coming months, the students will go on field trips to Singer's Technology Center and representatives of the company will lecture in the classrooms. It will give the students a view of the application of their specialty in a business setting and benefit the company because it will provide a pool of talent for future job openings. Everybody wins when a good idea comes down the pike, and the management of WPIX salutes Senator Bradley for this undertaking and the Singer Company for being the first to adopt a school. We hope they're the first of many, not only in New Jersey, but in New York and Connecticut as well. What's your opinion? We'd like to know. Eleven's Alive with the Eleven Alive Film Festival, next. First, seduced an entire generation. I want to win medals during the next war. Blood and honor. The story of Hitler's children. You can all be proud of your boy. Don't miss Blood and Honor. Tuesday night at 8 on Channel 11. On the next Benson, it's Benson's first day at the governor's mansion. I ain't leaving it. Excuse me, Governor. I'd like to introduce... Excuse? Oh, this man needs no introduction. I know the Reverend Jesse Jackson. <laughs> and he meets Kraut. You are trekking up the Governor's mansion, only it's disgusting. Fine, I'll walk on my hands. <laughs> That's Benson, Monday at 6 on Channel 11. If you can't wait for Saturday's parade, start celebrating St. Patrick's Day Friday night with John Wayne as the Quiet Man. Woman in the house. I have brought the brother home to supper. When he returns to Ireland, the former boxing champ is forced back into the ring. Father, shouldn't we put a stop to it now? Uh, we could not yet. We could not. John Wayne is unforgettable as the Quiet Man, a spirited St. Patrick's Eve movie special, Friday night at 8 on Channel 11. John L. Lewis, and this is his biography. 